In New York, a scene reminiscent of 9-11, a makeshift morgue set up outside a hospital, ready for an influx of bodies. New York City is now the epicenter of the American outbreak, with a third of all cases. One, two, three, four. That doesn't even include people like Nadia Levy. The Canadian has all the symptoms, but couldn't get a test. She worries New York is the canary in the coal mine for the rest of America. I think it's going to be bad. I think we're going to really need all the help we can get. Officials are preparing for hospitals to be overrun. They say they need close to 90,000 beds. At a single hospital in Queens, 13 deaths in one day. A healthcare worker herself, Levy says the situation on the front lines is already dire. They're, they're pissed off a little bit about the lack of supplies. Uh, they're, they're, they're overwhelmed, they're scared. Some have now turned to the black market. And you see pallets upon pallets of equipments, gowns, N95 masks, Purell hand sanitizers, Clorox wipes. It's insane. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says 40,000 retired health care workers have volunteered to return to help, and some supplies have arrived. We do not yet have secured a supply for three weeks from now, four weeks from now, five weeks from now, but uh, we are still shopping. Cuomo estimates the peak is coming in three weeks. Overwhelmed are all those, you know. So like in Italy, New York hospitals are preparing to make the difficult decision. Who gets life-saving treatment and who doesn't? There is discussion about, you know, about, there are ethical ethics discussions that are, um, are ongoing, but the point, but we, we are not at that point now. The fear is that point is not far away. Stephen D'Souza, CBC News, Toronto.